guys, and today I will be doing the MAC haul, which I am so excited for. So I know I've done, a, I just did a Christmas haul, and but who doesn't love a haul? But I have them all laid out in front of me, so I'm going to be showing you um, all of the stuff that I got. Um, some of the stuff is repurchases, some of the stuff is just kind of old old products that I cut in colors I have not tried and then some of the products are brand spanking new pretty much pretty close um, and that is the patent paint lip lacquer by Mac cosmetics so you might be looking at me right now and saying um Caitlin you forgot lipstick. Um, I actually left my lips today because I'm going to try out one of the colors today for you so you can see it going on, how it looks. You can see my first, very first impression of it. And then um, I will do a wear test so you can see it in a couple of hours what it still looks like. Um, anyway, so we're gonna dive right in. I'm gonna just quickly show you some of the products that I have used before um, that are not new but are just repurchases. So what first one is the Pro Longwear Eyeliner. It is in Definedly Black. All of you probably know I did a thick swatch so you guys can see. It is definitely a deep um, black, a nice creamy texture. I love their Pro Longwear Eyeliners. So that is a good one to stock back up on. Then there's the extended play gig, um, Gigabuck Lash. I have tried this before, but I actually haven't used it in a really long time and I kind of wanted to try it out again. Um, so yeah, um, if you don't remember what it looks like, because it has been around for a while, it is in the blue container. It is the very thin one. Um, and it does give a nice curl. I do like it for lower lashes, so I'm going to remind myself of why I liked that mascara. I don't know if you guys liked it. If you did, comment below and let me know if you liked it or not. Um, so next, we have the Prep and Prime Natural Radiance. This is the primer, the illuminating primer, the Prep and Prime. It is really nice. I have used it before. It's illuminating without making your skin feel greasy. Um, so we will be using that in the future. It is in Radiant Pink, sorry, I forgot to tell you that. Another one that is kind of old news, but always a must have is Painterly Paint pot um the pro long wear it is pretty skin color it has like a little bit of like a pinkish hue um it's a little bit dark on me i will admit but once you have your foundation and your bronzer and stuff on it kind of just blends right into your skin um it's good to um i like to use it as a eyeshadow primer um it does really hold on to your eyeshadow well and I also like to use it sometimes if I'm going to be adding a pop of glitter or shimmer in the middle of my eye. I might dab that on first like this, um, just where I want it to be placed. And then I'll you go ahead and use my finger, dip into my glitter or shimmer and then apply it. It just gives you more pigmentation and it kind of amplifies the shade. So that is a really good one to have. Um, and then we also have Beck and Call, which is the matte lip mousse. Um, I've actually, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, never tried Max lip mousse before. So this is actually a first for me. It has a really creamy texture to it. Nice because it still has a bit of a shine to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Still has the bit of shine to it. Um, so I've heard great things about that. I really wanted to try one of theirs out and I love that color. Um, that's actually one of my go-to lip colors. I feel like it pretty much goes with anything. Next we have two of their frost lipsticks, which is one of Mac's really well-known lipsticks. It has really nice coverage and it almost has a bit of like a pearl finish to it. So I got it in Pink Power and Fabby. Um, they're both really beautiful colors. I will swatch them for you. It's like a light pink. It's really beautiful. It almost has like a bit of a peachy tone to it. So that's a really nice color. Um, then we have, uh, again, Fabby. I'm gonna kind of focus on the newer stuff. So I'm gonna kind of try to fly through these. This is Fabby, the darker one. It is more of like a movie pink. I love these colors. Very beautiful. Okay, I'm 
really sorry guys. I film in my basement because I do it when my son is napping. So you hear everything in this house. That clicking, what is that? It happens all the time. And like there's this fan noise. I actually turned my heat off and I'm in Canada, so it's cold. I turned my heat off because it's so loud when I'm filming, if you guys haven't noticed. So I'm really sorry I'm trying here guys, but there's too much background noise. So I'm just gonna apologize in advance. Also, I totally forgot to mention, I kind of did a little caption on my last video. I totally forgot to mention, I wanted to say, I did get a new camera, so if you're noticing like the quality's better, that's why. Because um, I finally went ahead and got my camera. Um, so if it, the focus might be a little off, or if the sound kind of is a little off, just bear with me. I'm still kind of getting a hang of the, this camera. So please bear with me guys. Thank you so much for um, watching, by the way. So let's just keep going. Um, so th yeah, those are the frosts. Um, those are pretty well known. Um, they're not new, uh, but those are really beautiful colors. Then we have a matte lipstick, which is always nice to have. This is in the color Mare. So when you see them beside the frosts, you can definitely tell, the, you can see um, like the pearly kind of luster to the frosts compared to the matte. So next we have the MAC Luster Lipsticks, which are really nice because they are more sheer. And as I've mentioned in past videos, I'm all about a natural um, lip because I like to go bold with my eyes, as you can tell today. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love doing up my lips, but I'm going to be completely honest, I prefer a more comfortable and natural lip. So the Luster Lips are supposed to be lightweight, which is one of the reasons why I'm not a huge fan of wearing lipstick or liquid lip because I hate the feel. Um, I'm picky. I really like, I'm picky about my moisturizer, the way it feels, and picky about my lipstick. Like I'm picky about feels, obviously about look as well, but definitely picky about how things feel. So the Luster Lipstick is sheer to medium coverage, which is nice. It is buildable, which is nice. I got it in Pretty Please which I will show you right here. Can't get it out. Um, it is like a very pale pink. And I'm gonna build it so that you can see it. You might not even really be able to see it. It has a bit of like a pearl um, luster to it. Um, it's actually really, really pretty. If you just need a little pop, you can even use it on top of lipsticks, kind of pat it on or use your finger and pat it on. Um, it kind of almost highlights um, the inner lip, the inner center of your lip, which is nice. Then I have uh, Politely Pink, which is a really nice pink and it is a little bit darker, a little bit more pigment to it. And again, you could probably build it up a little bit more than that as well. It's really pretty. So the next color I have in the Luster Lipstick is Patisserie. It is a very neutral color, which is nice to have um, because it pretty much goes with anything. Um, it's so beautiful. When you put it on the lips, it almost just evens your lips out, gives it a little bit more color. A very natural lip. It's so beautiful. I love it. It's that last one there. It's right there. It's that last one there. So love those. Um, I really, really enjoyed the Luster Lips actually. So um, if you are like me and you like a natural lip um, or if you kind of are just looking for a lipstick for an everyday use, the Luster Lip would be good for you. Um, so let's take a break from lips. We'll get back to the rest of the lip products I have. I have two um, eyeshadow palettes, like the Nine, the nine Pod shadow palettes. Um, this one here, this one here is called Solar Glow Times Nine. 
Um, so it is really pretty. I'm not going to swatch all of these because I want to get to the pat paint lip lacquers before this video gets too long. So this palette is really nice. It has a good mixture of mattes and of the um, frosted like metallic-y colors. They are more cool toned which is nice to have and it's always great to have a MAC palette because the quality in the shadows are great. I really like the um, pigmentation of them. I really like the blendability of them. Um, so I always um, enjoy MAC eyeshadows. Also, I really love the size of these palettes. These palettes are really great for traveling because it's a really, really small palette, but it, you still get a really good selection for color. So you uh, can go online and check out all of their um, nine shadow palettes they are really nice so I will be linking all this product below they are not affiliate links so I'm only linking them for your ease so it's easier for you um, so then you can just kind of click below if you're interested in any of these products then we have the second um, eyeshadow palette by MAC it is called burgundy times nine again um, pretty cool tones more um, like the name says burgundy based they are really, really pretty. I actually think between the two, this would be my favorite because I do like a more dramatic eye. Um, so they have some darker colors. And this one is more matte, which is nice to have that as an option, but it does have a frosty metallic-y shimmer in there. And it has also like a matte color with a um, kind of flex of the coppery color. So it's like a black with cops cops of flecker what am I doing flex of copper I would say coppery rosy gold so that's really really pretty um, and again that one's called burgundy times nine so let's move on to the rest of the lip product we have one of the amplified cream lipsticks very creamy full coverage um, very good pigmentation this is like look at that how like i did two swipes that was it so that is really beautiful and this color um which as i said was smoked almond it is almost like a orangey brown dusty rose but a little bit br more brown um so that's really really pretty um i really like the amplified when you're looking for a bold lip for lots of pigment then I have the Love Me lipsticks. I got two of those. And these actually just launched in the summer of 2019. I feel like when I thought about 2020, when I was younger, I was like, in 2020, we're going to have like floating cars. And we are going to like have, like the world is going to be like, when you think of futuristic, I always thought like 2020. 2020 sounds like, like futuristic. And look at where we are now. So um, so anyways, back to the Love Me lipsticks. They were just launched in the summer of 2019, so they're relatively new. Um, these are really cool because they are infused with argan oil. As I've said before, I have really dry lips, so lipstick can really dry my lips out, especially um, a liquid lip. Um, not that this is a liquid lip, but just that I would throw that in there. Um, but yeah, it's really nice that the formula is including argan oil because it is going to be more hydrating. Um, and that's going to prevent it to, you know, point out all of your imperfections in your lips. It's going to go on smoother. It's just going to look nicer. I've actually not tried these yet. So this is exciting for me. And the other thing about this is it's supposed to have like a weightless feel to it. You're supposed to not even be able to tell it there technically. So the first color I got was pure nonchalance. And look at that. Mm. Mm. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Don't you just love the look of a new lipstick? So this is a more purpley color, um, a more, uh, like a mauvey purple. Look at how pigmented it is. That's beside the Amplified. I hope this isn't awkward. I feel like I'm like showing you my elbow. Let's go like this. So this is the Pure Nonchalance. Look at it beside that Smoked Almond, which was the Amplified color. It has really good pigmentation because right next to it, you wouldn't even be able to tell. 
much of a difference in terms of pigmentation and payoff. Um, so that's really great. Um, and then also the color is just beautiful. And okay, so I'm going to feel this is the, that's the amplified and then I'm feeling this one. So when I touch it on my skin, it feels like a little bit creamier. I'm going to be completely honest with you, just feeling it on my skin, it didn't feel like a dress, a uh, crazy amount creamier and like um, smoother, um, which you would thinking about argan oil being in it, you would think that there would, it would be like super, super smooth. But that, that being said, I have not tried it on my lips yet. So I will let you know what I think of these. So the next one I have in the Love Me lipstick is Laissez Faire. Um, and I actually looked up what it means. It means let go. So just a fun fact for you guys. This one is kind of like a dusty rosy pink, which is nice. And again, look at that pigmentation. So that is the Laissez Faire. Again, beautiful. I'm really excited to try those out on my lips and see if they are more hydrating. So that is exciting for me. Um, okay, are you guys ready? So these lip lacquers and I'm looking them up right now. I want to give you a good explanation of what specifically they are supposed to be because I have not used them. So they're an in innovative, I can't even speak right off the bat. They're are you joking me? I'm a fail all on all counts. Okay. Come on, Caitlin. So they are an innovative, non-sticky, weightless liquid lip color that combines the high saturated, vibrant color of a lipstick with a powerful 3D shine of a lip gloss. So they do feel like gloss. They do feel like um, over time you would, like it almost feels like it will wipe away. Like you know when you wear a liquid lip, it dries and it feels like it's stuck on there. Whereas this, when I swatched it, it felt like it was going to like just be a gloss, and if I like if I were example to eat or drink, it would come off. So we will see. I'm going to wear test them, but it's supposed to have amazing pigmentation, and it's supposed to have um, non-sticky, no bleeding. It's supposed to feel weightless, which I'm loving. Um, yeah. So let's let's dive into these. I got it in. PVC later, a mid-tone pink. So that is what that one looks like. The bottles are very cute. It has like a very um, artistic paint vibe to it going on. The outside of the box is very similar. Sorry, I should have shown you the boxes first. Um, yeah, so that color is very beautiful. It's like a bright pink. Are you guys ready? I'm gonna swatch it. So that is what the brush looks like, what the applicator looks like. So that is that color. Like if you really look at it, it looks like a shiny, like a gloss, but it's so much more pigmented than I, most glosses you would use. Like it has that great pigmentation um, and we will see how it wears. It, it's supposed to be moisturizing as well, which is cool. Then we have lacquered up, which is almost like a mauvey pink. Definitely more like mauvey, dusty rose type color. Then we have Major Glazer. Uh, I feel like this is the one I'm gonna go with today. This color is more of like a mauvey, purpley pink. So again, the last color had a bit of like mauvey kind of vibe to it, but definitely more of like a, the dusty rose, especially when you compare it to this one. This is like mauvey purple all the way. That is the Major Glazer, and again, so beautiful. Um, that's definitely the color I'm going with today because I feel like it kind of goes with the purple vibe that I have going on with my eyes. Um, so are you guys ready? You guys look so ready for this. I'm really excited. I'm loving the texture of it. 
definitely weightless. I barely feel like I feel like I'm just wearing a gloss, maybe tiny, a touch thicker than a gloss. So they have a little bit of a sticky feeling to them, but they're very smooth. Um, they go on beautifully. The pigmentation is beautiful. The one thing that I noticed is I went a little bit outside my lip um, line that I wanted to do, and I wiped, and it just it did wipe like pretty much off. So I don't know how it's going to wear long term, um, but I definitely like the way that it feels. Um, I like the look of it. I like the shine. I really actually do like the shine to it. It's very movable. A little bit goes a long way. I dipped my thing in once. I even ended up having to wipe it off a little bit because I felt like I was almost getting a little bit too much on my lips and I needed to control it a little bit better. So from that first application, I'm really impressed. Um, I'm a little bit unsure of how it's going to wear in terms of long lasting like in the description here it says four hours sorry i had never looked that up so we will see i don't think that the shine lasts four hours i think that the color lasts four hours so i think that like does it stain your skin because when i do i'm gonna actually one second So I'm using a baby wipe, so it is like a wet um, remover, but it doesn't have any like makeup remover on it. It's not a makeup wipe. So I'm gonna wipe all of these off so that you can see what they look like. Now, I just like made it really messy, probably also because they haven't sat on the skin, but look at that. That is after wiping it like repeatedly with a wipe. Now again, like I said, they look messy and they, these two kind of blended a bit in the middle, but like especially the middle one really like popped. So I feel like this color is going to stick, maybe kind of fade a, a smidge um, and the gloss will be gone, um, but the color will stay, which is actually really cool. So it almost is like a bit of a stain which is nice. Um, I do like stains as well because you basically are stuck with that. And if I'm going to wear lip product, I want to be stuck with it because I don't want to have to reapply unless it's a gloss or a balm because it's so quick. You don't even have to look. It feels amazing on my lips right now. So creamy, like so like it doesn't feel like you're wearing gloss at all. It is not sticky whatsoever. So, so far I'm extremely happy with that. I'm going to kind of record what it looks like in a couple of hours. I'm probably going to just use my phone. And then in four hours, I'm going to record the final, what it looks like. I'm not going to reapply. It's going to just be what it is. I'm going to eat. I'm going to drink. I want to see how this holds up. Um, and yeah, we'll see. Okay, so I am back and I'm just going to quickly touch base about my lips with the MAC Paint Lip Lacquer. I feel like it did not last four hours for me at all. It's pretty much gone. My lips are slightly tinted. You guys probably wouldn't be able to tell that, um, but they are slightly tinted. Um, I found that at the two hours, all of the gloss had wore off, which you will see the picture here and they had a really beautiful color to them. It was just super natural. There was like a bit of the, co the color had stained my lips and it just seemed really natural, which was nice. The, um, I'm actually really happy with the product because I don't really find that lip products last long on me ever, no matter what they are, whether they're liquid lipstick or not. Now, lip liquid lipstick, I would still have on. It just would be really patchy and messy. I find I must lick my lips a lot. Um, and like, maybe I'm a messy eater. Well, I am a messy eater, but, um, yeah, so 
Just me personally, I'm pretty like hard on my lip products. I was happy with the results, but it wasn't necessarily what was promised on the website. Um, and it, you know, when advertised, like I said, if you're looking for something that's gonna last all day, this is not it. But I was really happy with how my lips felt hydrated all day. Like they didn't feel like they dried out. I felt like I really wasn't wearing much at all, which for me is okay, great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Um, if you guys are liking my hauls, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and make sure you hit the notification bell beside subscribe so that you will get emails of my new videos. Thank you so much to all of you that are subscribing to my channel and watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.